Hi everyone, welcome to the Droid G channel. Today's video will explain to you how to fix Android phone won't open apps. It can be very frustrating when you are unable to open apps on Android. In some cases, apps may crash when you try to open them. In other cases, they may refuse to open at all. So, no matter what the problem is, it's important to take steps to resolve it as quickly as possible. Here we'll discuss some of the most common reasons why apps can't launch and not load on Android, as well as some tips for solving these problems. This video is applicable to mobile phone models including Huawei, Samsung, Xiaomi, Redmi, OnePulse, Pulse, Vivo, Oppo, Sony, LG, and HTC. Please be patient and watch this video, I hope it can help you solve the problem of apps not working Android. Why doesn't my app open in Android? There are various reasons why apps not opening on Android phone. In some cases, the problem may be related to a specific application. In other cases, this may be caused by issues with the Android operating system itself. Some of the most common reasons for app crashes and malfunctions are that recent updates or software installations may cause compatibility issues with apps on your system. Corrupted system files or other underlying issues may also cause Android phone apps not opening issues. Viruses, malware, or other forms of malicious code may damage application files and interfere with their proper functioning. Insufficient memory or system resources may also prevent applications from opening as expected. Other factors such as hardware or network issues may also cause you to not be able to open apps on Android. Apps won't open on Android phone is not the end of the world, we have prepared a series of effective troubleshooting tips to help solve the problem in this article. If apps refuse to open on Android phone, please try the following solutions one by one, which will allow you to fix the apps on Android phone stopped working problem in a few minutes. So now, let's get started. Method 1 is to restart your Android device. If you encounter phone apps won't open Android, the first thing you should do is to restart your Android device. A simple reboot can do wonders, clearing some memory or fixing all apps won't open on Android phone glitches. You need to hold down the key combination to force restart your phone. The key combination used in the video to force restart the Samsung phone is the power button and the volume down button. Please press and hold the key combination to force restart your phone for 10 to 15 seconds. When the mobile phone brand logo appears on the screen, you can let go and your phone will automatically restart. After the restart is complete, your phone will return to the phone homepage. At this point, please try again an app refuses to launch to see if it returns to normal operation. Method 2 is to force stop the application. Because if an app doesn't start correctly or subsequently encounters problems, it may not be able to be opened again. So if after restarting your Android device, the app is still not working properly, your next step is to force close the problematic app. Force closing an app will shut down its processes along with it, and then restart the app. This is one of the methods to solve apps are not working on Android phone. You need to open your phone settings, find the apps module within your phone settings, and find the app that you can't run. After finding it, please click to enter the application details interface, find and click the disable button here. Wait about 3 minutes to reopen the application, and then try running the problematic application again. If the issue is still not resolved, you can try the next solution below. Method 3 is how to solve the problem of an app not opening. If you're using a particular app that won't open on Android phone, there are five steps you can try. 1. To force close an application, you can follow the steps of method 2 to close the specified application. 2. To clear the cache, you need to open settings, find and click on the application. Then find the app you have the problem with, then find storage and click on it. Click the clear cache button on the storage page. 3. To update the application version, please open the app store. Then find download an application update or application update, and then please update the specified app. 4. Delete and then download. If the first three steps cannot solve the problem, please delete the app and download again. 5. Uninstall and find a replacement. If step 4 does not work, then the app may carry malicious virus software. Please uninstall it and find another alternative app. Method 4 is to uninstall and re-download the application that cannot be opened. Another potential cause of phone apps are crashing Android and failure is a conflict with the version of Android currently running or a missing patch. In some cases, your app may not match your Android phone version, causing your app to not work properly. And many app developers regularly release updates to address bugs and security issues. At this time, please uninstall the non-working application and download it again. After downloading, Try opening your application again to see if the problem can be solved. Method 5 is to check storage space and clean storage space. If you still have apps not running on Android phone, sometimes, the cache data accumulated by the apps may cause it to stop working. You can try clearing storage space. It will clean up some excess cache junk. First, you need to open the phone settings, 
find and click General Management in the phone settings, enter the General Management interface, and click Storage. In the Storage interface, you can see a button to clean up immediately. Please click this button and wait for the phone to clear the storage space. Finish. Once completed please test whether the problem opening the application is resolved. Method 6 is to update your Android system. If you have uninstalled the corresponding app and reinstalled it, but your app is still unable to open apps on Android, then you need to consider whether it is an Android system version problem, because a version that is too low may not be compatible with the latest or newest versions of some applications. So, system updates are one of the ways that you can save your device from some bugs and glitches. Please follow the steps below to check if you have outstanding system updates and if so, install them now. Please click Settings, find the system and click to enter the system interface, then click Software Update or System Update. After installing the update, your phone should automatically restart. Please check whether your application can open normally after the restart is complete. Method 7 is to restore the phone to factory settings. If the above solutions fail to fix an installed Android app that isn't working, a factory reset may be the best option. Factory Reset deletes all data and restores the device to its original state. Before doing this, make sure you have backed up all your important data, again, as they will be erased during the process. After that, you can follow the steps below to factory reset your Android device. First, click on the settings of the phone. After entering the settings, find and click on General Management. Find the Reset option on the General Management interface. Click on the Reset option and then find and click on Restore Factory Settings. After clicking Factory Reset, your phone will have everything deleted and restored to its factory settings. Once the process is completed, it means that all data on the Android phone has been wiped. You need to re-download the required applications and check whether they can be used normally after the download is complete. Method 8 is to seek professional help. If apps are not opening on Android phone after trying all the above solutions, you can take your phone to a repair center or mobile phone store to have professionals check it and make the apps in your Android phone working properly. That's it for today's video. If you think this video is helpful to you and think we did a good job, please like and share it and tell us which method helped you solve the problem in the message area. At the same time, if you think there is anything we need to improve, you can also express your opinions and suggestions in the message area. Thanks. Good luck.